What up Blockheads, today we're going to be installing a swing arm bag for the Harley Dyna, specifically the Lowrider S model. Alright, that is the bag right there, it is from Harley Davidson. We did find a couple others that uh, would fit, but um, I didn't really like the look of them. This was just the most minimal, most basic one, you know, so that's the one we're, we're putting on. It does come like this, there's a couple latches on the bottom there. And then it comes with all the hardware that you need as well. Uh, if you guys are interested in the part number or the link for this bag, I will link everything down in the description below. All right, so as you guys can see, it does come with some straps. The instructions it comes with a couple of mounting brackets. It also comes with the leather protectant. It says apply, let penetrate, and buff dry. So what we're going to want to do is I'm just going to read through these instructions. You guys can hit the pause screen right there if you'd like to uh, view them yourself as well. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get to installing this thing. The first thing it's telling us to do is remove the screws and the washers from the belt guard bracket. So we're going to take these off and that is going to be a 3 16th Allen. After you get the belt guard off, you are going to want to take these two bolts out there and there. They are not hex, they are actually like the star, like T pattern. And no joke, get this, those things around there so tight, I couldn't get them off with a normal ratchet or a wrench with the T40 piece in it, so I had to get a freaking breaker bar to get them loose. So, loosened up, we're just gonna take them out. Man, that is so much more difficult than uh, mounting the swing arm back for the Sportster. So, basically got these bolts loosened up. Got the first one out here. It does look like they have some kind of residue on the bolt, so I'm assuming they use some kind of uh, thread locker. We'll take this one out right here. So yeah, as you can see, there's like this kind of white powder here, it's like some kind of thread locker, which means we need to go ahead and obviously put some thread locker back on there when we put them back in. So at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to remove that existing bracket, which looks like this, and you're going to replace it with the swing arm bracket, which looks like this. Basically, it's the same bracket, just with a little extension mounted over it that slides into the back of the swing arm bag like this. Mounting that back right now, go ahead and grab some Loctite for the uh, bolts. All right, so we got these two bolts all nice and tightened down. It was much easier putting them back on. I was taking them off. Like I said, be sure to throw some Loctite on there. Once again, I'll have links for everything down in the description below, including the Loctite here. But uh, yeah, snug them down. After that, we're going to want to mount this bracket. Also, just as a heads up, hindsight being uh, 2020 and all, I would recommend going ahead and removing the seat and removing the uh, cover here, just so you have a little more room and so you're not bumping it, just in case you know you don't want to scratch it up or anything. So go ahead and remove the cover and pull the seat and then the cover. All right, so for this bracket here, we're going underneath the bike and you're going to be removing these two bolts here. Let's go ahead and get some sockets to remove those. The bolts are out from down there. These are right here. I can't tell if they have thread lock on them or not. It might not, but I'm gonna throw some on anyways because it's removable and Harley shake. So we're gonna take this bracket right here. You're going to mount it like that into the two holes there and there. It's gonna be those two holes there and there. We've got that kind of loosely attached back right now. I'm not gonna tighten it up until we run straps through it. Uh, we do need to 
put the belt guard back on, so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. We've got that tightened back on there, belt guard reinstalled. We're gonna go ahead and run some straps. All right, so I went ahead and tightened the bolts down here. So belt guard is back on, that is tightened down. Those bolts are nice and tight. The bolts down here are nice and tight. Everything's locked-tighted. Lock, locked-tighted, is that a word? Lock, locked top. I don't know. Anyway, so at this point, we're going to uh, start putting the swing arm back on. So you guys can see the straps. Um, they have some Velcro here and what they call these cams that open up. And uh, the ends of them are tapered so that you can actually fit them through the, uh, the slots here, all right, just like that, so it's pretty easy. So what they're saying you wanna do is you wanna put them in through the swing arm bag, and you're gonna run them through the top, so basically like this. And it says you want the cams facing upwards, so basically like that right there. All right, so this is gonna be kind of a pain in the ass, but we're gonna basically run the straps back through in here. We're gonna pull them up, and then we're gonna mount this little piece right here over that right there. So let's, uh, let's do that. So you guys can see what's going on in there. That light is handy. All right, so pretty much at this point, we're gonna need to run them through the cams and then Velcro them over. All right, there you have it. A Harley swing arm bag for a Dyna installed. Does take a little bit of doing, but man, swing arm bag is essential if you're not gonna be running saddlebags in the back. I'm not a huge fan of saddlebags, just because I like that more like sleek look of the bike. So swing arm bag, like it fits nicely right in this little area, you know? So I'm a huge fan of that. And in that, I can fit my disc brake lock which is right here, so that'll fit in there. Throw in microfiber towel for cleaning the visors or wiping stuff down. I also throw in a couple of zip ties, because you never know. And usually I'll also throw in like a plastic bag. So all of those are useful items to have. It's nothing much. I mean disc brake lock I use pretty much all the time anytime I'm parking the bike so just throw all those in there just fling that back over latch it up and you're golden that's it all right well that is how to install a swing arm bag for a dyna hope you guys have enjoyed the how-to video if you did be sure to hit the like button down there if you guys have any questions be sure to uh, post them up in the comments below. Just as a disclaimer, I am not a licensed mechanic. I'm just a dude in uh, his garage who enjoys working on his bikes. If you do need a licensed mechanic to install this, you might want to consider not ever working on anything on your bike, ever. <laughs> no offense meant.
Like I said, if you guys are interested in any of the stuff used, you guys can find the links to the products down in the description below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them up and I'll uh, answer to the best of my knowledge. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant and I will catch you all later. Deuces.